is the biggest surprise of the year as we now check back in with Hall Live Japan's Uraha Rusha, who has now been on hiatus from Hall Live Japan for two weeks now. So imagine our surprise when we were informed of this. That being a notice regarding termination of our contract with Uraha Rusha, offered up in both English and Japanese, saying we would like to notify you that as of February 24th, 2022, Thursday, we have terminated our virtual YouTuber master agreement with Uraha Rusha, who is affiliated with the VTuber group Hall Live that our company manages. Regarding Uraha Rusha, it has been apparent for some time that she has been distributing false information to third parties and has been leaking information, including communications regarding business matters. We have been investigating the facts related to these matters. Saying further, with respect to the above, we were able to confirm that she engaged in acts that violated her contract by leaking information that she acquired from the company, as well as communication over SNS, both of which she has a responsibility to protect and caused the company to suffer reputational damage such as by publicizing falsehoods to various related parties. As a result, we as a company have determined that it has become difficult to continue managing and supporting her and have elected to make this decision. To all our fans and any related parties, we deeply appreciate all of the great support you have provided throughout the activities that Uraha Rusia has engaged in over a period of two years and seven months since her debut as part of the third generation of Hollow Lot. We deeply apologize from the bottom of our hearts that we have ended up in a position to have to report this news to you. Regarding any refunds related to Uraha Rusia birthday merchandise for which we have accepted orders, we will notify you of the details in the respective sales websites and such going forward. We appreciate your patience. Also, we will be shutting down this talent's YouTube channel and membership as of around the end of March. Please understand that we are taking this matter very seriously. We intend to put further efforts into instructing the talents that are affiliated with us on compliance matters so that similar incidents do not happen again in the future. We hope you will continue supporting and enjoying our company as well as the talents that are affiliated with us. Thank you very much. February 24th, 2022, Thursday of our corporation. This now echoing back to the February 14th notice that we received from Cover, which had at the time also mentioned this. We are currently discussing internally on how to respond to the series of incidents involving the talent Uraha Rusia, as there has been an outburst of misleading information to third parties, as well as a leakage of information, including those of fellow business correspondents. Once again, this talent had been on hiatus for two weeks now, after a message from a friend had appeared on her stream, and then speculation arose that the two were in a relationship. Now, however, Cover has taken another stance, indicating it was not the relationship that led to the termination, but instead the leaking of information. Once again, Rusia's YouTube channel with 1.59 million YouTube subscribers is set to be deleted at the end of March, and we could potentially expect the Twitter account to follow. This is very much in contrast, of course, to the Kiryu Koko graduation from last year, which led to a spectacular graduation stream that was watched by nearly half a million viewers and is still standing with all of the content still intact. So at this time, we will now be taking a look at the talent and individual behind Uraha Rusia as their Twitter account from December 2010 is still active and tweeting out two days ago, I'm really sorry for worrying you all. I've been through a lot and I'm exhausted both mentally and physically. I can't think straight even now. My mind is torn up, but I wanted to tell you all how sorry I am but I couldn't. I'm really sorry. I'm not sure what to say, but I'm sure you'll understand. This message coming two days before the information about this termination was made public. With the individual now just an hour ago tweeting out, I love you all. I want to play a lot all the time. Having now also opened up a brand new YouTube channel two days ago, even creating a small 12 second test video that is simply a black screen with no audio and is gaining tens of thousands of new subscribers by the moment. So what is this all about the leaking of information that led to the termination? At this time, we are only aware of one instance of information being leaked from Uraha Rusia to another third-party individual, that being Kore Kore, the owner of the Kore Tube channel with 1.65 million subscribers.
subscribers and who has been a friend of Udaha Rushia even before they were a part of Hololot. As both Mafu Mafu and Rushia were sharing information with this individual as the incident was unraveling and Udaha Rushia was trying to prove that they indeed were not in a relationship and were not living together. Sharing with Corey Corey photos of her apartment and how it was different from the other individual in question. Speculation is now leading those to believe that this was a part of what Cover considered leaked information. Although Cover was clear that this has been going on for quite some time, meaning it could have been actually occurring before all of this hiatus and incident had occurred. Corey Corey has also recently tweeted out Odaha Rusia contract canceled because of this and that, so my YouTube comment section is being trolled by foreigners. With comments ranging from, it's your damn fault, Kore Kore, that her contract is terminated, you just can't keep your mouth shut, won't you? And even receiving the comment, if I somehow hear of your random disappearance, I would not grieve for you. And as before, yes, once again, it's national news in Japan. Once again, here is a Yahoo Japan article about this. Once again, Yahoo Japan being an actually reputable and well-read source in Japan. And no, don't believe everything you hear, as Uraha Rusha has not yet been removed from the talent roster on the main Hololive Pro website. And no, the actual official shop page for the birthday merchandise is technically still available for pre-order. Even yes, including the much talked about Uraha Rusha engagement ring. Once again, this item will not be produced with all orders being refunded and the shipping date, again, no longer being valid. And yes, we do have reactions coming in from numerous talents, including Mori Calliope of Hall Live English, saying, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm canceling tomorrow's stream. I feel sick to my stomach. Please take care of yourselves. Takanashi Kiara would quickly tweet out, I just woke up, and then confirming what Takane Rui with Hall Live Japan had said, yes, yeah, sorry guys, this will happen another day. That being the much anticipated Hollow Tori collab between all of the bird VTubers of Hall Live. Also reacting, we have Hecos Bells with Bay saying, hey guys, a lot has happened and I've decided not to stream tomorrow. I really wanted to commit to Fe Bayweary, but I just think it would be better to just take a day off for everyone to heal and rest. I will continue to work hard for you and thank you for the consistent support. As yes, originally this talent had planned to stream every day of the month leading up to her birthday at the end of the month. As also Hall Live Indonesia's Kareji Ali would simply tweet out, turns I woke up to a cloudy morning, I'll play off stream. Other Western VTubers and talents would react, including Vishojo's Fruit saying, I'm honestly devastated. Saroe would say, well, this is a terrible day. I hope that everyone, especially her gen mates, are able to pull through this. My heart goes out to everyone involved. Val responding, this was heartbreaking and disappointing to read. Uni saying, I'm so sorry for Rusia. She always did her best and worked hard over the years. I am devastated. With Coefficient saying, bro, Hall Live literally lost their number one and number two super chatters in the span of a year. This ain't it hover. The part that gets me is that they are terminating her channel that is two and a half years worth of content that took so much blood, sweat, and tears to build up. And they're just going to delete it like it never happened. Come on, bro. As also Nags would respond, what a rough night. I don't know what to say. And of course, there were reactions to the official post on the Hall Live subreddit, including considering it's a firing and not a she wants to retire situation. It seems there is a lot more going on behind the scenes, and we may never get closure on that because it is a private company information. Though I don't know how to feel. Another comment once again echoing Hall Live just lost its number one and number two in Super Chats in less than 12 months. And this, no, there will not be a graduation stream. No, she will not get to say her goodbyes to you or anything. They terminated the contract, aka she's not graduating, she's been fired. And yes, we do have loads of reactions from Hall Live Japan, including A-Chan, a director with Hall Live, saying, as we reported in our press release, we are very sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you very much for giving all the support you have given to our activities so far. We look forward to your continued support of Hololive. As throughout the day, numerous Hololive Japan streams went ahead, including a party stream between Shirakami Fubuki, Shiranoe Flair, and Tsunamaki Watame, with Fubuki saying, all I can say 
is that I want all of my fans to enjoy today's stream and live performance. I know it's difficult for some of you now. Still, I want you to smile again at Hololive. Watame would reply, same feeling, and also tweeting out, I'm going to do my best, even if I'm a crybaby sheep with everyone. And fellow Gen 3 member Shara Noe Flair saying this, I touched on this a little bit. There's not much I can tell you. So even though there are now only four of us in the third generation, I'd be happy if everyone could support us as we continue to work hard together. Takino Sora also adding, I'll keep working on it. I'll do my best. Suisei Hoshimachi replying, it's hard to put into words right now how I feel. Right now, I'm just going to do my best in front of everyone. I think the only way I can give back to everyone who has always supported me is to do my best in my activities. In the next stream, I'll be full of energy and deliver a smile. Hiyori of Gen 6 of Hololive Japan would also respond to Fubuki's words, saying she also feels the same way and that she will be cheering for them. Minato Aqua would also tweet out, thank you for all the support you've given me. Let's keep doing our best together. I suddenly felt like saying that. Generation 5 member Shishiro Botan would also tweet out, it may take some time, but I'd be happy if Hololive could make you smile again. I'll keep working hard. Amane Kanata would say, I still can't believe it very much. I don't know what words to say at all, but I'm really sad right now. I will continue to do my best to bring smiles to the faces of everyone who watches Hololive, so I hope you will support me. Nikamato Okayu saying, I can only support everyone in my own way. Sometimes I feel that even that might be selfish, but please let me stay by your side. As also Murasaki Shion would say, let's keep moving forward together slowly. Thank you for everything, and gratitude is always important in everything. As Roboko-san would add, I'm so happy to have met you all at Hololive. Thank you for being there for me when I wasn't feeling well and for being so kind to me. I'll try my best to bring lots of smiles to everyone. It's important to take a break when you're in pain. It's a miracle that I've met you. Let's have fun as hard as we can. I love you. As Ozora Subaru would also add, today and in the future, I'll do my best to bring smiles to everyone's faces. Thank you everyone for everything. And those are the reactions at the time of this recording. Once again, Uraha Rushia, terminated by Cover Corporation on February 24th, 2022. No graduation, and soon her page gone. An accusation of leaked information and breach of contract, and a surprise to all. Promises from Hall Live Japan talents to bring more smiles to us. And that is all for this episode. Once again, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below for more VTuber news, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.